Hi, this is Angelo with Farlap & Associates. Appeal unfair property tax where you never pay more than $125 a year to fight your property taxes. Um, today we're sending out this video because the first installment has just begun to land in mailbox. Uh, the first installment for 2014. The first installment is usually the tax bill that upsets the taxpayers and here's why. The only math on the first installment says 55% of last year. So if you take your last two bills together, add them uh, add them together, 55% will be this March, and the deadline to pay it is March 5th, I believe. Um, if you want to go to cookcountypropertyinfo.com, you can type in your address there or search by your PIN number, and right below the picture of your house, you'll see the uh, first installment that just got published uh, yesterday. Now, um, the second installment is the one that shows all the funny stuff, including the values that we're fighting for you. So if you received a reduction letter in the last year, that value will be seen on this July to September second installment bill. The second installment used to come out in August or September. The last two years it's come out in July and upset everybody. Um, but this is what it boils down to. And this is what's important to know, is that while the values stay for three years, the only way you can make it go down is if you're fighting, and you are. The only way it can go up within three years is if a building permit hits. Whenever you make the house nicer, they say, oh, you raise the value, we can raise your taxes. They can do that right away or when they get around to it. Um, but this is what it boils down to on the tax bill on the second installment only. You have a property value, the computer value that the assessor gives out every three years. If you live in Chicago, 2015 is a reassessment for everybody with a Chicago address. 10% of that property value is the assessment, 37185 A little bit of this is land, a little bit is building, or the majority is building. You're fighting the building assessment. When you lower that, you lower your assessment and you lower your taxes. Then it's times a state equalizer, 2.6621. That becomes an equalized assessed value of 98,990, and that's multiplied by a tax rate, 6.832 for this particular house. Then you get your total taxes down here. Then you get your exemptions, and this is what they mess with too. Homeowner's exemption, senior, senior freeze. I circled three things here, the state equalizer, the tax rate, and the exemptions, and here's why. Even though the value stays for three years, every year they get to pick a new tax rate, state equalizer, and mess with your values. And these three items alone can cost you to go up $200 to $1,200 a year, uh, depending on the size of your house. Um, so even when you're doing nothing, you can go up $200 to $1,000 a year. That's all the reason you should need to keep fighting. Now sometimes you might get informed by us, oh, we lowered it $1,000. And when the July bill comes out, guess what? It doesn't go down $1,000. It might go up 200 bucks. You say, hey, Angelo, you didn't save us any money. Um, what we do is we give you this example. Um, if we lower you 1,000, but the tax rate and equalizer come up 1,200, you still suffer a $200 increase. But you would have suffered a $1,200 increase had you not appeal. So it's still a win. Sometimes you appeal just to break even. You, you try to appeal to try to go downward. Um, here's an example. And here's why we can't predict the second installment tax bill because they pick these three funny things right before the bill prints. Um, but if you received a reduction letter, here's an example. If you were originally at forty thousand one eighty-five, and we reduced it to thirty-seven one eighty-five, when that bill comes, scratch this number out and write the higher number right where it was, forty thousand one eighty-five, and do all the math below, and you'll see what you would have paid. Now, an easy way to do this is just know this: one thousand in assessment is about two hundred dollars. So if you go from 40,001 to 371, that's 3,000 in assessment, AV, which equals, uh, every thousand is worth 200, so that would be $600. If you got this in the first year of your cycle, it's good for three. If you got it in the second year, it's good for two. If you got it in the last year, it's good for one. When the new cycle starts, poof, the old cycle's history. If you live in Chicago, all Chicago homes are gonna be reassessed between March and July. Um, in a reassessment year, here's what happens. While some of our customers might have just gone down to 37,185, you're gonna get a letter saying 37,185 up to 45,000. Let's say they hike at 30%. On reassessment, if you go up 30%, it might just be our job at a reassessment year to lower it 25%. You went up 30, you came down 25, it means a year from now you're still going up 
And that's usually our job in a reassessment year. You don't pay to go down, you pay to absorb shock and relieve the sting a little bit. In the second year, we can look at all the homes that came down in the first year and then snip out the three or four who got the best deal and use them to help you come down further. In the third year, you can find the lowest possible homes because you got two years of people beating down the values. And then that's when you're going to find the lowest. And then you start all over again, reassess, and it puts you right back up to whatever they want, and round and round we go. Um, but this should help you understand, again, the March installment's not going to show any savings. It's going to be 55% of the year before. Add your last two payments together, 55% is due on March 5th. Or you can go to Cook County Property Info, type in your PIN number, or search by your address underneath the picture of your house. You'll see the first installment payment right at the top. Um, Let's see, if you have any other questions or if you'd like to refer us to your friends, we would greatly appreciate it. Our website is appealunfairpropertytax.com. There's a free research button on the top right. Keep this part in mind for your friends. Anybody you know who's trying to do refinancing, trying to save the house, um, a lot of those people get appraisals in that process. Um, sometimes they don't get the uh, refinancing because the value drops so much on the appraisal. We love low appraisals. Um, we've cut taxes in half uh, using low appraisals. So uh, we greatly appreciate the business. Um, we hope that we've answered all your questions. Please do not be upset. A lot of people are going to call and blow up the phone and when they see the tax bill. Um, some banks are even raising payments now because they've caught by trend that March is usually higher. So our customers just got reduction letters and then they say the bank's calling them to raise the payment. And they're like, what's going on? This is why. March is 55%. July will show your lowered value. And it'll be subject to those three things changing each and every year. So we appreciate the business. If you have any questions, you can also call us, 773-409-4405. We help customers throughout Cook County, so from Chicago to Barrington, south to Calumet, north to Winneka Evanston, 30 miles around Chicago is basically Cook County. Uh, we'd love to help whoever you have in mind. And thank you. Have a nice day.